Okay, since I've abandoned my, my Twitter account for now, this is something I've been wanting to say ever since I posted this on Twitter. This is about SpongeBob SquarePants, a TV show that I've loved ever since I was a kid. Now, truth be told, it's overstated its welcome ever since um, the first SpongeBob movie came out in 2004. And people, ever since Hillenburg passed away, have been claiming that the spinoffs were made against his wishes. Well, that's not entirely true because of the what well, the co creators were saying that Hillenburg wasn't sure about it. Well, here's why I have to say about that. If really didn't want that claim to be said by everyone before Hillenburg ever passed away, the best thing to do was even after this show almost ended back in 2004, after the movie came out, the first one is that you really should have had either Hillenburg stay on the show or even after he left fans or even very good writers who believed in the show actually give it good writing. Let's take a look at one TV show that I also like. It's from Cartoon Network. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. There's this buildup of Eddie's brother. If you haven't seen the show, I'm sorry to spoil it, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. Eddie's brother has... At all this mention and build up to the very end, and we finally see him just like Krabby Patty and and you know, Krabby Patty is from SpongeBob, by the way, and the Krabby Patty is as at all this build up of the secret ingredients and such. We've never had that happen at all of what the secret ingredient is. Maybe that could have some build up of what the, how the show could end. But seriously, if Ed and Eddie had the same ending, maybe SpongeBob could have the same ending too. But seriously, with all these other IPs, how come they couldn't get the same fame as Spongebob? Because seriously, Spongebob is seriously getting the same award every time it's being featured at the Kids' Choice Awards every freaking year at the same time. Almost every year, too. But seriously, bottom line, Spongebob has overstated its welcome. This show, at least. If you really want people to stop saying, oh, the spinoffs have been done against Hillenburg's wishes, then please just get some good writers to really make the show look good. Otherwise, even the show looks better now, there's still some flaws, and they're really good. You can just fix them with some of the um, help of the fans. Seriously. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Spongebob could also still be on... Nickelodeon. It doesn't have to be wiped off the face of the earth. The only thing it can probably do is have reruns in the first three seasons so it can probably still be seen on Nickelodeon. And since the movies are good have reruns of those two at least I think. I'm not sure. Goodbye for now.